So you you played in a very limited passing offense last year. You now come into one of the most wide open, you know, high scoring offenses. What's it like for you to have this opportunity? I mean, just getting adjusted to everything, learning the difference between offenses and then I'm trying to compare and contrast and then trying to get a real feel for the quarterback situation. It's amazing though, just like seeing how everything develops over the stage that we're in and then seeing the guys come together. I'm getting a feel out there for how these plays are ran, um, where I'm, where I'm going to get the ball, where I'm going to have to do a little extra within my route to really get open. It's so much things that we can really get into and like I'm just thankful. How was your first day of practice? I loved it. I loved it. I mean, just being in a situation. I feel like I'm, I've am i been put into a situation that I can really excel throughout this offense. So. At what point did you decide you were going to make the transfer? And then had, was USC the obvious choice, or did you go through some <laughs> options? Uh, shoot. Uh, I hopped in the portal, and when I hopped in the portal, I was still shaky about it. I thought about going back to Colorado. Next thing you know, I'm on the phone with Lincoln within the first 30 minutes, 15 minutes. I'm like, wow, okay. He tells me come. Um, I get a couple other calls, but as soon as I heard Lincoln call, you know, you got to have to go, especially being in a situation the SC, biggest names, uh, biggest wide receivers. You got to come. You have to. For it to happen that fast, were you surprised when that call came? Ooh, man, it was it was quick. Like, I was shocked. Next thing you know, I'm on the phone with Lincoln. I'm like, well, I just talked to Lincoln Riley. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to SC. <laughs> Where were you when you got the call? Um, I was in uh, Texas, actually. Okay. I was getting a workout in, and it was just wild to me. <laughs> who did you tell that to? I just talked to Lincoln. Who did you tell that to like, after you got on the phone? Like, who was the person you were? Whew, I went straight to my mother, texted my dad, I'm going to Cali. I texted Jerry, yeah, I'm going to Cali. I'm coming, I'm coming over there with you. <laughs> I know it's early, but what is the team camaraderie like so far with everyone? Hey, everybody out here is just so competitive. Everybody out here wants that chance to really go against the top guy. I mean, every single day you hear us chirping at each other, but it's love off the field. That's what you want from the team. That's what you want to see develop over time. And you want to see everybody raise up to a certain standard. So it's coming. I, I, I am so excited. Certainly, we have to ask you about your dad. What's the benefit of being Jerry's son? What's the hard part of being Jerry's son? Uh, hey, I, I would have to say that last name. Everywhere you go, that last name is looked up, looked at so like highly. But here, uh, we're at USC. There's no last name on the back of the jersey. So. Uh, I'm playing for the brand in front of me, and then I got a number on me, and that's about it. How has that shaped your football career, though? How, kind of having that influence or hanging over you, or however you would phrase it? Uh, I would have to say, I study other people. Yeah, I always looked at him. Everybody considers him the GOAT, but I'm me, and I study other people. I'm trying to chase him. That's all that matters. <laughs> How close are you guys? What's your relationship? It's getting better. I'm sorry, I'm going to say. It's good. <laughs> I noticed like Lincoln was kind of all over the place, you know, mm -hmm. kind of pretending to be a safety at times or a yeah. cornerback covering you guys. Yes, sir. When the coach is that energetic, I mean, how, how does that kind of transfer over to you guys? I, think? I mean, sure. When the coach is that energetic, it really applies. You're like, it's a give and take. You're giving it to the players. Like, the players are receiving it. You're getting more out of your players. You want that. You want to see that energy throughout your players. So, yeah, you got to go to your coaches because if you don't bring that energy out and you can't get it from your coaches, nobody has anything to feed off of. So, yeah, we were prepared. We were ready to go. I mean, it's amazing. I, I can't wait. I mentioned kind of like those passing scoreboards last year. What do you think you weren't able to show there that you think maybe you couldn't have on the next year in the sequence? Um, I can run routes. I can run routes. I just, we didn't have the time last year. It's so, okay. Like, the, hopefully they're better than this year, like with time and everything. But here it's like I have, I have more time to run routes, develop, uh, seek out progressions within the defense, see if it's cover two, cover three, if they're bracketed. So now it's like more, let's go like, Quick, yeah, you gotta think about it a little bit more. What's it like to be out here? I know you're younger, but one of the greatest players who your dad played with is out here at practice. Was a USC legend. I mean, how much do you know about Ronnie and what he, you know, what he means to this place? Uh, Ronnie a lot. I mean, who doesn't know about Ronnie a lot? <laughs> he's he's legendary. He's legendary for a reason. And then just to see, like, you know, he talked about Joe Montana. Like just know some little things, and that's what really carries over. Because shoot, my dad always talks about the little things is what make you great. It separates you from good and great, and then being that goat level. Had you met him before, Ronnie Lott? No, I haven't. 
So is it a little surreal to be out here at the same time first day of practice? Oh, definitely. I mean, you have a whole bunch of legends come back and forth. So that's another reason I also came to Cali. I get to see this. I get to be in the environment. So many of these guys are going to come back, and they're really going to be inspiration. So many guys want to see you be right here, and everybody wants to see SC back on top. Is there any type of intimidation factor when you come from Colorado to a place like USC? No? Hey, I used to be on the opposite side of the ball to SC, Oregon, shoot, Washington. It did not matter, I promise. <laughs> Some guys got There's so many talented receivers here. What's the competition Everybody like between you all and guys that know each other? Oh, yeah, we're going to be deep. We're going to be deep. Uh, if you look at Lincoln's past, um, just like Caleb and Lincoln, they get the ball around. And there's a lot of receivers that get the ball, so you just got to know you're going to come in here. You're going to be with three of the four, four of the five of the guys. And a lot of guys need the ball. Everybody's going to get the ball around here. You can't be dependent. You got to let the progression come to you. First impressions of Kayla playing with him. Man, man, uh, yeah, he he's that dude. I'm 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 super excited to get to work with him. I got to build my chemistry a little more, and I can't wait to be scoring touchdowns. I can't wait. He's gonna he's gonna chuck them up. <laughs> you mentioned how excited you were just to talk to Lincoln, uh, meeting him, getting to know him. Has he been what you expected? Has he surprised you in any ways? Uh, yeah, definitely. He definitely surprised me. Uh, just like kids, the way he talks over the phone and everything. Shoot, if we, should, if we should talk about anybody. It should be Simmons because I didn't know if I was gonna come here because of Simmons. <laughs> Simmons was a uh, very laid back dude, but now I'm like, oh, okay, that's just his personality. They get to talk to him every day. But I kid you not, he was mellow over the phone. He was like, yeah, hey. <laughs> Oh, but shoot, nah, just talking back and forth. And then I got that text one more time, like, hey, coach, like, should I do this? And he's like, Brennan, I want you here. I'm like, okay, let's do this. And then texting Kayla back and forth before he committed. Yeah, I knew this is the spot for me. Let's do one more here. Are we good? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.